but a storm that has been packing some very, very high winds in this area. Christina Hager has the very latest on our coverage. You know, Lisa, this is the kind of weather that can really catch people by surprise. This is strange. It, we have had periods of rain, sometimes even heavy rain. That will last for just a few minutes, and then suddenly things will get very calm. The sun will come out for a few minutes, and then out of nowhere, a strong gust of wind. That happened down the street here, where a huge tree came down on a truck where uh, someone had parked the truck and was working nearby. Luckily, was not in that truck. Let's take a look. The owner of this truck is a Lester firefighter who was helping with some groundskeeping at a religious shrine here. By the grace of God, he says he was not in his truck. Yeah, you know, being on the fire department, we've been to three of these in a week. So it's just this time it was my turn. But nobody's gotten hurt. That's all that matters. Among those at this scene, National Grid, which has extra crews on hand, nearly 2,500 in New England. There could be maybe a, a slight delay getting to a particular location. Eversource spokesperson Reed Lamberty says social distancing utility crews means just one employee per truck, but there is mutual aid help in from Canada. So if one truck shows up, then you got to wait for another truck to show up as well to, uh, you know, perform some, some assistance there. But I don't think customers are really going to notice. No power, no Wi-Fi. No job. Josh Peters strapped in the trash barrels at his Milbury home and turned the air conditioning up high. Like so many others, he's working from home. If your phone dies, then you can't really call anyone. If your computer dies, you can't do your work. You can't check your emails. Plus, it gets really hot. Depending on power more than ever, hoping scenes like this don't add to the complications. Well, the owner of that truck says he will be working tonight. He'll be on hand to help the Leicester Fire Department with storm response if there's a need. Obviously, he will be working with a different truck. In Leicester, Christina Hager, WBZ News. But thank goodness he's okay. Christina, thank you.